so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to talk about how you can create that kind of low poly rock in blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and in this video i will just talk about how you can create that kind of low poly rock shape only okay we'll not talk about how we can create that kind of shape because that is i've created by the textures so we'll not talk about this thing basically we'll just talk about how we can create that kind of low poly rock shape and how we can create this these kind of rocks so first of all i just want to open my new file so i'm just going to open a new file yeah so here we have a our default cube so, so first of all i will just add one subdivision surface modifier into our cube so for that i will just press the control 2 and that is the shortcut key to adding the subdivision surface modifier into our object and from here i'm just going to increase our viewport level first of all something like that i think 6 is look fine to me and then i will just apply this here okay so here you can see we have a, a physical mesh here okay and that's so great then I will just go to again my modifier section and here I am just going to add one displace modifier and when we will add the displace modifier it will going to pop out a little bit something like that here you can see that kind of pop up okay then we have to just click the new button and it will uh, add the texture basically so right now we don't see any option to adding the texture so we so we have two option to add the texture so first of all we can just click from here so we'll automatically reach here and otherwise you can just go to by uh, manually click to this texture properties icon you will reach it here okay then from here you have to add the texture so i'm just going to uh, click this type section and here i'm just going to add the Voronoi texture so when i will add the Voronoi texture you will see something like that and that look very cool by the way but uh, we have to just decrease some uh, value from here so i'm just going to decrease the intensity value from here so i think uh, that's look fine to me right now and we have to decrease the uh, size as well so we have to see where that's going to fit okay and uh, i think that's look fine we can just move it little bit and we can increase and decrease the size so you have to just check from the here okay and where it's going to perfect shape so i think uh, that's look fine and we'll just also add this shade of smooth first of all and then i'm just going to increase the value from here so i'm just going to add little value and then i'm just going to add decrease the value from here as well yeah so that look fine so here you can see now that look fine and we can just uh, little scale this shape from here and we'll just apply the scale first of all so it will look like this and that look fine from here we have to just change the size okay we have to look where it's going to fit and where we get that kind of shape basically and here you can see we have a that kind of shape here i'm just going to little scale this thing as well and this thing as well and make sure after that you just apply the scale so that texture will also apply very nicely on it then i'm just going to duplicate first of all then i will just going to another shape from here and going to little scale it and from here i'm just going to change the uh intensity but first of all we have to just click on this button so it will now free from this uh, shape basically okay so now i'm just going to increase the size as well so i think that's look fine to me yeah okay so we can just change the shape then we can apply the scale and here you can see we have another shape here okay so that's how you can create very cool and low poly uh, rock shape in the blender with the help of this uh, displaced texture okay so that's look fine i'm just going to duplicate again this thing and going to stretch it something like that and then we can just apply the scale first of all and here you can see we have a another cool shape of that rock and that's look fine okay guys after that you have to just add the texture into our uh, object you can add the normal material and you can uh, paint as well from our texture paint basically okay it's up to you from where you want to paint it and where you want to add the texture in your object so that is very cool and easy trick so i thought i should share with you and that's look fine by the way from here you can increase and decrease the size of our uh, rock basically here you can see okay and where it's going to fit on your uh, uh, visualization you can just use it okay so i'm just going to decrease a little bit so here you can see that's look fine okay 
सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो गाइज इफ यू लर्न समथिंग इन दिस वीडियो प्लीज हिट द लाइक बटन हिट शेयर बटन एंड सब्सक्राइब मैच एंड ऑल्सो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वारीज इफ एम सेशन बिल लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट बॉक्स आई विल डेफिनेटली अपलाई कमेंट सो बाय बाय टेक केयर एंड स्टे होम गाइज